small forest, the rainforest has different layers. There's the forest floor, which is where we are right now, sitting on the forest floor, and then we're surrounded by the shrub layer and the understory, and way up high above us is the canopy layer. And the canopy layer is made up of plants that are the crowns of the tops of the trees that are the dominant kind of plant in the rainforest. And there's also up in the canopy things like the epiphytes, the bromeliads, and actually climbing plants that are called lianas. And they're all climbing up to reach the sunlight of the canopy or the sunlight because the canopy is where most of the sunlight is captured. And we know that in a food web, the sun is so, so important. We're going to go to this. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. we, want, we want to show you a picture uh -huh. of one of my favorite species. I did my dissertation work on this particular animal, which is a flying squirrel. And flying squirrels are found in New Jersey and New York on Long Island. In fact, I did my dissertation work on Long Island. So these are gliders, not flyers, and they're not found in Panama. So now we're going to look at what's in Panama. Canopy species are fascinating. They're, they are usually very mysterious species that we don't get to study very much because we see them only occasionally. Because they're mm -hmm. so high up, yeah. right? Now there are canopy species that are um, what you would call specialized canopy species. They, they have to live up way high in the canopy. And we're talking canopy that's over 100 feet tall, sometimes over 250 feet tall. So we've got, you know, we're, we just cannot physically see what they're and doing. And some of those species never come down, right? Either yes. because they're plants or they're animals that live up there their whole lives. There are colonies of ants, for example, that live up in the canopy and they don't come down below. Uh, same thing for certain kinds of termites and there are certainly some mammals that rarely come down to the ground. This is a picture, a portrait, of a lovely monkey called, uh, the species is called spider monkey, and they have long arms and legs for hanging in trees. Uh, they are really uh, good at, at uh, traveling around through the treetops, and they have um, very distinctive facial markings. You'll see different individuals and in, in how they look compared to each other. I'm going to uh, just brief, come back to us again and briefly mention some of the traits or characteristics of animals like monkeys that help them survive and, and do well, succeed in the canopy. Uh, monkeys, for example, have these long arms and long hands uh, arms and legs are very similar to each other. Right. Uh, they have gripping feet as well as gripping hands, gripping uh, so they can hold tightly. Uh, many of the monkey species have prehensile tails, a tail that can be wrapped and has muscles in it that can hold onto branches. And I'll also add that prehensile tails usually have bare skin on the underside so that they can grip tightly. If it were fur covered, uh, it, it tends to slip. Hmm. So, you, you know, the like your the palms of your hands get moist, uh, right. the tails of monkeys are a little bit moist too. You've also seen this photo of a, a spider monkey. The eyes on a spider monkey, very human-like, are in the front of the face. And so having eyes in the front of the face gives good depth perception because with two eyes a few inches apart from each other, you get two slightly different images and it makes it possible for you to gauge distances and being able to gauge a distance when you're leaping from one branch to another is very important. Do they have yeah. peripheral vision as well or just point on vision? What do you mean by peripheral vision? Are they able to see off to the side? Can you see off to the side? A little bit. Yes. So, so yes. same thing for the, yes, for the they, spider monkey? They have peripheral vision but they do not have the kind of peripheral vision that um, deer have, for example. Deer have their eyes on the sides of their heads. Oh, so okay. one eye is looking out that way, one eye is looking out that way, and they can also look forward a little bit. But uh, we, we have animals walking around, I think. However, um, the, the uh, vision of a deer is quite different from the vision of a monkey. The, the deer do not have that depth perception 
and instead they have a very wide angle of view because their eyes are on the sides of their heads. Mm -hmm. so, and that's true of most prey species that live on the ground. They, they have to be able to see all around them so they can see a predator coming. So yeah. canopy species generally would have a different placement mm -hmm. of their eyes. That's right. And did you say with the spider monkeys that their faces are very distinctive and that's... Uh, yeah. Scientists studying spider monkeys can actually distinguish their faces and their, mm -hmm. identify them by their facial features? Yeah, well you said it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've got a monkey here that shows how the tail grips around a branch. And Boy, and, and that picture really sh identifies and shows all the different appendages, the tail, the arms, how it's, how it's able to use all of those appendages. Mm -hmm. And the eyes on the front of the face. Right. Okay. And then you'll see a different individual monkey next hanging. The face is different, <laughs> but it's also upside down because they can hang upside down by just the tail. So having uh, two arms and two legs that can grip as well as a tail means you've got five hands out there that work very nicely all together. And then we have also this other individual which has, again, a different kind of face. So what Katrina said about their faces being distinctive is very true. Um, over here, here's this one is really cute. Oh, I love yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. Peeking at us. They is that a young monkey? Yes, young one, um, probably only a year old, and uh, very curious. They, they peek at us. and uh, So now we have not just spider monkeys here, but also white-faced monkeys, howlers, and tamarins. We want to look at this photo of a white-faced monkey feeding. Uh, white-faced monkeys are very different looking from the spider monkeys. They certainly have, are. Yeah, the white head and chest, and just for comparison, so you can see the difference. This next slide shows you a spider monkey again, uh, with the bare skin around the eyes and the mouth, and the black fur in the head. Such different yeah. faces. Yeah, very different, they? very uh, distinctive, individualistic personalities in these monkeys too.